Hey guys, it's Milo back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to lube your stabilizers if you have a keyboard with soldered switches. This could include the Ducky 1 2 Mini, the Ann Pro 2, and many other keyboards out there. This is actually going to be the first episode in a series that I'm creating. It's basically going to be short and simple guides for mechanical keyboards, basically beginner tips and tricks. And if you find this series helpful, then please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And let's get straight into the video. So to lube your stabilizers, you're going to need a couple of materials. You're going to need dielectric grease or Crytox 205 grade zero. A few other lubes will work, but these are the two that I personally recommend the most. And to apply the lube to your keyboard, I recommend using tweezers or a toothpick. If you have a toothpick, then you can clean your teeth afterwards, so it's kind of a two-in-one. But tweezers will also work perfectly fine. I use tweezers because they're really skinny, and I can get underneath the stabilizer wire, and that just helps me reduce the rattle as much as possible. And then lastly, you're going to want to have some kind of rag or cleaning device so you can wipe up the excess lube when you're done. I personally like to do very thick coats of lube on my stabilizers just so it can be as smooth as possible and there's usually a bit of lube left over. Right now I'm removing my spacebar key using my keycap puller and my thumbs. I usually just use my thumbs for the spacebar because you can't really get a keycap puller all the way around it. And I'm doing the spacebar because that's usually the rattliest and I just want to show you guys how much of an improvement lubing can do. So I'm taking my toothpick slash tweezers and I'm dipping them into the lube and you want to get a lot of it on there so you can get all that lube onto the wire. So now I'm sticking the tweezers slash toothpick into the stabilizer where the wire is exposed. As you can see, I went for round two with the lube and I just got a ton of lube in there. And you really just wanna move the tweezers or toothpick around the wire and cover it as much as possible. So now I've popped the stabilizer out halfway and that's kind of so I can get under the wire as much as I possibly can. And I'm also using a special type of tweezer that is curved and really pointy and that helps me get under the wire, but if you aren't using that, then it's okay. The toothpick will work fine enough. And once you have enough lube on there, you can just pop it back in place. And I like to clean it off so there isn't lube getting all over the keycap. And you also want to pull on it with your fingers just to make sure the wire is moving smoothly and it's not getting clogged up or jammed because I have had issues like that in the past. So you just wanna put your keycaps back on at this point and then do a little bit of a sound test to see if you think it sounds good. So for me, I noticed that it's not very radley, but it still doesn't sound great. I think that's because I'm using Cherry MX switches and you guys know that Cherry MX switches aren't very great, they're really scratchy and they have a very high pitched noise. And also the keycaps are very thin which adds to the high pitched noise of this. So it's not perfect but this is how it should sound like if you have a budget board and then if you have a more high end board it should sound a bit deeper pitch. This isn't going to sound as great as if you completely desoldered your board or removed all the switches and band-aid modded it and added lube all over the wire. This is more of a thing if you are like a beginner and you don't want to go through all that DIY process, but you just want a keyboard that sounds nice. So I'm also sorry for the bad webcam quality. I'm using my uh, pretty crappy webcam right now to film this side note, but back to the video. This is the end of today's video, and if you guys made it this far, then I would like to point out that when I reach 20k, I'm going to be giving away the keyboard in this video, so make sure to subscribe or do whatever you want, because there actually is a very high chance that you could win this keyboard, because I don't really have that many subscribers and viewers to the channel currently. So yeah, keep your eyes out for the giveaway, and peace out. Thanks for watching.